Hey guys, we recently went to a wedding in Tennessee and we stayed at this really cute rental that we found on Airbnb and we wanted to share a review with you guys. So let's roll. Welcome to Starstruck Farms. This cute little Airbnb is located in Lebanon, Tennessee, just 40 minutes outside of Nashville. Previously owned by the queen of country music herself, Reba McIntyre. This Airbnb had 16 rooms. Each room was named uniquely different. As you can see, the common area is perfect for big events such as weddings, reunions, or special occasions. Also, there was complimentary soda, so that was a plus. I really loved this feature. I felt like I was going to get my horse out of the stall. Our room came equipped with a coffee maker and a mini fridge. And look at this really cute basin sink. They really went for a rustic look in this room. There's Dave stocking up all the essentials. This is sleeping area number one. And it is a twin size bed. Despite its size, we slept pretty comfortably. And up the narrow steps is an open loft furnished with another bed and bench. The horse stall rooms do have bathrooms in them. I thought the shower was super cute. It was a horse trough, although it was really tall to get in and out of. There's more to this venue than we were able to videotape. We did have some bad weather while we were in town. Here's some highlights, and we'll go over the features of each one of them down the road as well. So they did have uh, campgrounds for tents. They had a spot to park for RVs, and they also had glamping, which was some small A-frame huts. And part of the main stall area, they did have a banquet style hall. While we were there, there was actually somebody that had a, a wedding there. And then outside there is a very large gazebo. It's almost the same size as that banquet hall inside the unit. Now your tent section, what I thought was really neat is each spot had its own grill. Now, not talking about that rust bucket thing that's stuck in the ground. They were your backyard grills, just like you have at home. Uh, they were charcoal from what I could tell. There was no propane, uh, but you had your own right there. Uh, each spot also um, came with a picnic table, a bench, uh, and you were able to use the ice machine and the soda machine inside. As far as I knew, there was people getting ice from there and no one said anything about it. Now the glamping, they were some really neat looking A-frames. They also had their own Adirond Adirondack style chairs or benches. Um, we did not go inside one of them because that wedding was there. I believe they were all booked, uh, but they do not have a bathroom in it. That's why we chose the horse stalls. You did have to use the public restrooms for that, which was right next to the buffet. We'll get to that in a minute. All right, now for food. As you heard, I just talked about this buffet. They do have right next door, uh, across the parking lot, essentially, a buffet-style restaurant. If you are a guest of theirs, you do get breakfast for free every day. Some days you also get lunch for free. Besides that, it is a very well, reasonably priced buffet for, for food. We weren't did not walk across it with a camera. Uh, we didn't um, want to get in the way because of that wedding party again, uh, but it did look like some good food and there were a lot of offerings. Also on site in the campground is a trailer style barbecue pit. So Jay has his own barbecue joint. It's a trailer that's out there with the uh, glamping in the campgrounds. It was not open for our weekend, but I'm sure that's coming up with summer right around the corner. Some other features that they offered there that I like where they did sell wood, if you wanted wood for a fire pit, you could also travel outside of the area, not too far and find wood for sale. Uh, they did have a small little Frisbee golf course, uh, probably only three holes. I didn't really look for a lot of them, but uh, I did see a couple of them. And then also they were building a pond right behind that buffet, which looks like that'll be a really neat feature when it's done. It's a fairly large pond. To wrap it all up, we enjoyed our stay at Starstruck Farms. It had great amenities to host family events, social events, or just a couple's getaway like we had. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next adventure with us. Bye.